how do you become a registered nurse here in Australia for international nurses? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Jessa Minor and I am a Filipino registered nurse currently residing and working as a registered nurse here in Australia. So as you guys may all know, I am currently a registered nurse here in Australia which uh, gives me the power to work here as a nurse. But Initially, I have gained my registration back in the Philippines. So I did a four-year bachelor's degree in nursing, uh, finished that, took my Philippine nursing licensure exam, passed the board exam with flying colors, and uh, then worked uh, for a while in the medical surgical nursing unit, then decided uh, to come here to Australia and to work here as a nurse. Okay, so. How do you become a registered nurse here in Australia for international nurses? Many of my friends, not just my friends, but also strangers who have come across my YouTube channel have asked me about this one. And there are actually two pathways uh, to become an Australian registered nurse for those of you who are internationally qualified nurses. Internationally qualified nurses are those who have already gained their registration back in their countries and want to convert their registration into Australian registration and be able to work here as a nurse. So the two pathways are first is an exam-based pathway and the second is by studying and earning a nursing qualification. The first pathway, which is the exam pathway, um, it is an outcomes-based assessment. So it's an OBA format. You'd have to take two exams in order to pass this one. So the first thing you have to do is an NCLEX exam, an Australian NCLEX exam. So it's a multiple choice questionnaire type of exam where you'd have to sit down, answer some questions, and you have to pass this one in order to have the opportunity to take the OSCE. So the OSCE is the second exam. It's objective structured clinical examination. This is basically a, a practical exam where you are placed into a simulation environment. There are simulation stations that you have to go through and for each station, you'd have to deal with a certain scenario that they're gonna um, ask you to deal with. And uh, it gives you the chance to showcase your nursing skills and your nursing knowledge um, in real life situations. So that's what happens. So they test both your knowledge for the NCLEX and your practical skills for the OBA. So back in 2019, when I came here to Australia, uh, this option wasn't available for me uh, yet. So it was in 2019 when they started organizing this um, new pathway for um, nursing entry into the country. So at the time, we only had the option of studying, which is the second pathway. So getting a qualification and studying nursing here in Australia. If you're an internationally qualified nurse in your country, you can actually gain nursing qualification and nursing registration here in Australia by undertaking studies. So you just do a conversion program. Nursing conversion program is actually one year of study at a bachelor's degree in nursing. And then after that, you gain your registration, you do not have to take any exam, that's just it. You finish, you apply for your registration, and you're able to work as a nurse here. Through this pathway where you are undertaking nursing studies, uh, it gives you an opportunity to get into PRACs or uh, clinical placements where they put you and partner you with hospitals so you could get a feel of the environment of the hospital just like what we all do in nursing school back in our countries so uh, when I was a student I actually had my clinical placements first in um, a rehab an ortho rehab ward in a public hospital here in Perth and my second prac was actually uh, uh, during the course of the pandemic, like when the pandemic was just starting, and it was in 
a pediatric hospital just in their regular medical surgical unit. Uh, both of these experiences taught me so much about the healthcare system here in Australia. Um, uh, allows you to have a bit of a feel of um, how things run in here in the healthcare setting. So it is also very, very beneficial if you undergo this. Do you need experience to study nursing? No, you do not have to have prior experience before uh, doing your conversion program here in Australia. But I highly, highly recommend that you do even just for a bit, six months to a year. That will be um, such an edge when it comes to applying post a uh, conversion program where you're applying to hospitals or other healthcare settings. Those with prior experience in their countries um, overseas always, always have the edge uh, when it comes to companies selecting them during the process of employment. Okay, so the question now is how do you apply for nursing studies? Okay, so there are four main steps you have to do. First thing, um, and this is usually the most hassle for me in, in my personal experience is taking an English examination. So once you do this first step, you're almost good to go, I swear. So here in Australia, they have a variety of options you can choose from when proving your English language skills. So you do need this for your application into the um, Australian University and also when applying for your visas for any visa. So um, in our case, as nursing students, we take the student visa application and we do need our English exam results in order to have our application approved. The tests they have here, they have IELTS, the International English Language Testing System, which is recognized by a lot of countries, even in the US and the UK. And then they also have TOEFL, so that's the test of English as a foreign language internet-based test. Pearson test of English academic or PTE, uh, occupational English test or OET and the Cambridge advanced test. Okay, so I know this is biased, but I highly recommend you to take the Pearson test of English academic just because I feel like it is the easiest to um, ace. So there are lots of techniques on how to ace this exam. You do not have to be the best in speaking English. You just have to know the tips and tricks. So there's a lot of resources online, especially on YouTube. So go watch that. I can link um, one of the resources that I use. So take your PTE and yeah. Well, it's my day girl, not harder. The second step is the university application. So once you get your English exam results and you see that you've passed the required points for that, then you can start applying for the university that you want to go in, into. So, of course, firstly, you have to do um, thorough research. First, research on which state you want to enter. There are states in Australia that are colder than others. There are states with more people and there are states which are more quiet. Um, personally, I think Western Australia is a quiet state. It's very peaceful in here and the weather is just perfect for me. Also, I uh, do know that Western Australia has one of the biggest salaries in comparison with other states. It's also a really good option to come in here if you want to. However, going to uh, the busier states such as Melbourne and Sydney is also really, really exciting. So um, make sure you do your research and you decide properly. Okay, so after choosing the state you want to go to, you start doing research on the universities uh, that offer the conversion program in nursing. I actually had an agent to help me do that. The agent just showed me the uh, universities available for each state and it has a comparison of the prices that they are offering for each state so that was really helpful and I think that made um, choosing the university much more easier for me so there are a lot of agencies that offer free services when it comes to student migration here in Australia so in the Philippines I know we have AECC and IDP. So I worked with AECC and it is 100% free. 
uh, it's the Australian university that reimburses them or pays them for sending them students in there. Uh, university. You do not have to pay anything, they just assist you throughout the process um, in choosing the universities you want to go to, in lodging your uh, university application, in uh, preparing your requirements for your student visa, and in lodging your student visa. I highly recommend that you check out those agencies that offer free service. I know AECC and IDP also offer their services in other countries, I think especially in the Asia. Check them out, check their website, and make use of the free service. Now, we're at the third step, which is processing your student visa. So, for when processing your student visa, you have some requirements you have to prepare and show the immigration. So, you have a show money. This one proves that you're able to support yourself while you are staying here in Australia. And then, you have to have the confirmation of enrollment from the university that you applied from how do you get the confirmation of enrollment when you are applying for a nursing program here that the conversion nursing program they will screen your information when they've uh, seen that you've had all the requirements they need including the english exam requirements then they will give you an offer letter in the offer letter you will see the tuition fees costings and everything that's when you decide whether you're going to take the offer or not when you've decided you're going to take their offer, you start um, paying, I think, about 50% of the fees. Personally, that's what I did. So you pay 50% of the nursing program fee. That's one semester of um, tuition fee. You pay that. And then as soon as they accept that, they give you the receipt and then they give you a confirmation of enrollment, which will outline all the dates, the orientation dates, uh, the lecture dates and everything. All that you need to know for your journey into the new nursing program. That's the confirmation of enrollment. That's part of the requirements for when applying for a student visa. So they have to know that there is a university that you have applied for already and that university has accepted your application. You also have to have a genuine temporary entrant. So this one's kind of tricky. There are techniques and tips on how you have to make this online. So you can just Google and also, of course, if you have an agent, they always help you. So you, you first do your first draft, you send it to them, they check it for error. When it's all good to go, you just launch your visa and everything and that's it. A genuine temporary entrant, uh, basically just an essay that you make explains why you, you wanna come here to study in Australia. In my GTE, essay i was just explaining how i finished my nursing in the country why i wanted to go here you have to prove that you are staying here temporarily because you're only having a student visa a student visa is temporary okay the next requirement is your oshc so that's the overseas student health cover so this one is an insurance for international students in case there's any emergency that could happen to you throughout your stay here in Australia as a student. And then after that, you have um, your remaining paperwork such as your passport, your English exam results. You send all of these to your agent, screen everything, lodge your visa, and then you're good to go. So that is basically how I became a registered nurse here in Australia. I just did my nursing studies, my conversion, a bachelor's degree in nursing in here for one year and then finish that one we didn't have to take any board exam we just applied for the registration and off we go applying for um, jobs in nursing uh, so yeah I hope that this video has somehow shed light on how you are able to become registered nurse here in Australia. I know it is not very thorough and I may have missed some information but I do know that those are the main things that you need to know when you want to apply in here. So yeah, if you are planning on coming here to Australia to work as a registered nurse or even just considering the idea of doing that, then definitely do your research and uh, I would personally say go for it because the Australian healthcare system is very, very good. They have very good nurse patient ratios 
and um, they do have one of the best in standards of nursing in the world. Good luck on your journey in becoming an Australian registered nurse. Let me know in the comments if you have any further questions that I haven't addressed in this video. Don't forget to um, like, subscribe, and hit the notification button so you don't miss any videos from me, especially my nursing content, which I will hopefully be doing more of this year. Thank you so much guys for watching and I'll see you in my next one.